welcome to Game Time with the Mythwits. I'm your GM, Michael Kafis, and on this episode, we're playing Star Trek Species or International Cheesies. I will give you, the players, the name of either a Star Trek species or an international cheese. You must determine whether, which one it is, rather. I will not spell it, and my pronunciations are rarely correct. But I will use it in a sentence if you wish. It will not make a difference. <clears throat> if you can answer this correctly, <laughs> uh, panelists, uh, then you will get a point, and there is a chance... In any case of a tie, then we will have a tiebreaker. Now let's meet our contestants. And uh, contestant, contestant number one is Peter Bryant, host of the Mythwits. Hi, hey, everybody. Peter. It's great, great to be here. Great to be here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and contestant number two, his co-host, Jack Ballard. Jack Ballard. Was there more? I was waiting for more. It sounded like you were going to say something else. Jack Ballard, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, I'm here. our special, special, extra special guest, Evan Bernstein, this week. He's joining us. He is co-host of the award-winning podcast, The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. He is a co-author of the upcoming book of the same name. Evan also serves as the Connecticut chapter chairman of the New England Skeptical Society and serves as their technical director for field investigations. Traveling the world with his co-hosts, even Evan, <laughs> Evan has given uh, live presentations to private corporations and at educational seminars on topics including the direct harms of pseudoscience, woo, in the martial arts, and the truth behind paranormal investigations. So welcome, Evan. Uh, great to be here, Alex Trebek. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm uh, to meet you. Pete, it says here we banter, so uh, please banter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nonverbal cues. This is oh, oh, Mike. Oh, Jesus. come on. I You're did so that on I did I know, that on I purpose. Know. Okay. You're hey, Mike, this, this, this um, is the second part of another show, right? Yes, yes. So, everybody, yes. Uh, if you are just joining us, in the, if you are getting receiving this non live, <laughs> you're receiving it in the either the uh, our Podbean feed or on the um, our YouTube YouTube's. feed. Uh, you can please find Evan's our interview we just did with Evan on episode 432, uh, where we talked everything skeptical, and we pretty much solved it. We we pretty much nailed skepticism, right? We're done. Yep. There's nothing more We're to done. talk yeah. about, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, subject all mystery solved. Moving on. All right, all right, yeah. good, good. <laughs> all right, so uh, I guess with uh, that uh, done, then we'll just play a game. We'll just move on to this game yeah, since that. there's nothing else skeptical yeah. to do. Um, do it. All right, guys. Uh, basically, like I said, we're going to play Star Trek Species or International Cheesies. And let me pull up the document right here. And we will start with number one. Now, Peter, you are keeping score, correct? I gotcha. Yep. All right. Now, we will go in order uh, the following. That will be Evan, mm -hmm. and then Jack, and then you. Okay. Gotcha. When does even go? Oh, wait, he's not on the show. No, uh, Where is he? It, he? He's the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let me lift stuff down, so I just got to go with it. You just got to roll it off. Well, all right, so... <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> all right, Evan, you mm -hmm. your first uh, species or cheesy is... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, isn't there a theme, Mike? Is there a theme? Is there a theme? Is there an alien theme, or is it just any aliens? It's oh, it's it's Star all, Star, Trek. all Star, Star Trek. Trek. Oh, you said that. My bad. I, I, did. I screwed I did. it up. I'm sorry. Few times. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. All Minus right. one point. Minus one for point Peter. for Peter. Oh wait, I'm not the scorekeeper. I'm not the scorekeeper. Right. I got you. <laughs> all right, uh, Evan. Yours is the the or a Sulgani. Sulguni. Sorry, Sulguni. And you're not going to spell it for me, Sulguni. right? Sulguni. Uh, it it's spelled sulguni, sulguni. Hmm. Well, uh, it has this sort of um, 
I don't know, how do I put it, Norwegian kind of feel sound to it. And when I'm thinking of that, I'm thinking this is probably going to be cheese. So I'm going to say it's cheesy. All right. So Goonie is packed Georgian, Georgian rather cheese. It has a yes. sour, moderately salty flavor, <laughs> a dimple texture, yes. and elastic consistency. Wow. Nice. That yeah. would describe you too, Mike. It would. <laughs> it would. <laughs> it would. It's about the same smell too. Yeah. Yes, yes, well, yeah. When I'm sitting on a and shelf salty, for a few Very years. salty. <laughs> very salty. All right, Jack. Yours is Vorta. 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 Uh, that sounds like a, like a hot blue chick to me. So I'm going to go Star Trek uh, species. Star Trek species. Okay. Well, in fact, the Vorta were a humanoid species genetically engineered by the founders of the Dominion. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. That Ooh. is correct. All right. They're like the Points. game Paranoia. If you kill one, another one they it has a clone. He has a clone waiting on the ship for him. He comes back. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. Sorry. And Peter. Yes. Yes. Your, Mike. Go ahead. <laughs> your your key or species is the Wagasi. Now, you see, you said the Wagathi. Now, either you did that by accident or you did it to throw me off because, see, a the would be a species. Actually, actually, what you failed to understand is I did it to throw you off and on purpose. Well, this is like that scene in The Princess Bride. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where they yeah. used so, to drink the poison. You mean you're four fast. I oh, you're- obviously can't pick. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... I'm gonna say you're trying to cover that up, and mm-hmm. I think it's a I think it's a species. Hmm. Wagasi is a small is a soft cow cheese. You fucker! <laughs> cow <damn> milk <laughs> cheese. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Evan, I'm not Burner. going to. I'm not even going to uh, try and throw you off because you're you're a gentleman of. Um, we are both men of action, as as they say. Uh, oh, well. <clears throat> The cheese and or species is Killari. 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 The Killari. Can it be an and? Is the and an option? Killari. And should not be an option. The Killari eat a lot of Killari because they're either That's cheese fanatics or uh, cannibals. Cannibals? <laughs> yeah. Are there I, I, sentient cheeses in Star Trek? Mm, that would definitely throw this game into a tailspin. So, no. <laughs> could triples be cheese? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think it's clear that we're that you're in uh, utilizing the entire Star Trek universe, perhaps all the yes. way from original series right up through the uh, the new one that it, hasn't been released yet. Um, yes, and cartoons. Oh, cartoons. If, if, it's in, that, oh, if it's in, uh, what, is, what is that called? I, everything I got was Al- alpha uh, in, in uh, yeah, Alpha Prime or Alpha... There's a website. It's like yes. Wikipedia, but it's the Star yeah. Trek version of it. All right. I'll put my I'll put my uh, cheesy nickel down. I will say it is a species. Killari a, is a cheese. Aye. Aye. Yes. Oh. Killari okay, so it's not a yet a species. No, not, not yet. In a few billion years, it will evolve. <laughs> right. right. Yes. The cheese, that, could the let cheese those evolve. cultures get to work. Right. That is true. <laughs> All right. Um, Jack? Yes? Uh, yeah, that Jack is cheese, yes. 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 Oh, <laughs> sorry, not my... He's from Monterey. <laughs> Mon- yes. yes. <laughs> Colby is my middle name. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Breen. Breen. Breen? Breen. Breen. Yes. That sounds like an overpriced cheese that you would get <laughs> in a fancy hoity-toity place served with like escargot and butter. So I will go with well cheese. The Breen, who are on the planet Breen in the Alpha yes. Quadrant, would diff would, they um, eat that cheese? Disagree they with do. you? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. That they are part of the Breen confeder- Confederacy. They're very Breeny, oh. evidently. <laughs> Hey, aren't yeah. they the ones that look like uh, Princess Leia did in Empire? Or yeah, uh, no, Return of the Jedi. Yes, they yes. do. Okay. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Wow, How, the whole planet of them. Yeah, they all look the same. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. Whoa, I'm going there. Yeah. That's no, no, great. only with the suit on, not after she takes right. it off. 
Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when she shows up, she's like, it's a double detonator! You know, that, that whole scene? Oh, oh. Peter. So if I went there with, like, a case of metal bikinis, it wouldn't do anything? No. Like, that's not how it works? No, no. no. I mean, you could put it on them. I just don't know. Or you could put it on. You can put it hey, on, don't yeah. Don't judge. Hey, hey. Don't judge. I look. You guys have been to yeah. Dragon Con, so you yeah. know. Yes. <laughs> We've all seen it. Yes. There are a lot of things that yes. shouldn't yes. be wearing green kinis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't judge, man. All hey. right. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're having a good time. They're having a good time. To breen his yeah. own. To breen his own. Uh, yes. All right, Peter. Yes. Your species or cheesy is lappy. 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 Lappy sounds like a puppy, um, but I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go with and cheese. puppies are living. Right? You know what though? I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go with cheese. This can't be it can't be a species. Can't, they could have named a species Lappy. I mean, if it was Star Wars, I could see that, but not Star Trek. Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cheese. From the Lapland region of Finland, Lappy is pasteurized yes. and uh. made from par- from partially skimmed cow's milk. Very good, sir. Very good. Oh boy. Are you on the board finally? Yes, I am. We're all oh. we're all even. One, one, one across the board. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Uh, who knew who knew you guys knew your cheesies and species so well? Well, we're about 50-50. So oh, I think yeah. it's a pretty good guess. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> all right. Uh this what are we on? Never fails me. <laughs> so what are we on? Third um, round. round wise, Peter. Three. Is this round the end three. of round two? We're on round three now, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So uh the next Round, Mr. Bernstein is Kazinti. 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 Look, you know, you got your K, right? you got your. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> You've got your K, you got your Z. When you put those two letters together, I've seen that quite often in the realm of science fiction. So I'm going to have to say, I think it's a species. Oh, good. Yeah, it's good rationale there. That's, that's yeah, using your skeptical good. noggin. That's mm. right. That is a cat like race introduced in Star nice. Trek, the animated uh, series. So, yes. very oh, good. Wow. Beautiful. Never the Kazinti Society guy. is a yeah. male. No, oh, go figure. A male dominated race. Who to thunk it? All right. <laughs> that never happens. Yeah, right. Right. It's clearly Just, fantasy. That, that, yes. It's got to, you know what? They messed that up because cat, I mean, cat people would have, I would imagine them as being like a female dominated, like a, like a, you know, matriarchy. Yeah. I don't know. Just. Is that the episode where they bury the crew in a box full of sand? Is that, <laughs> is that the episode? That's, that's not <laughs> sand. Can't get out. That happened right. in the cartoon. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> All right, the Jack. Sand smells like ammonia. Jack, your international <laughs> Look, I found something international in cheese or or spe. Well, well, I love when I mix them up. When I go, your your tasty species or international Star Wars or Star Trek. You don't have to do it every time. We got you. We're all playing the game. We're on board. Hit me. Let's go. Abertam. How about that? Abertam. Abertam. Uh, Bitch. My mom used to make me Abertam and and. Macaroni. Butter and sandwiches, <laughs> and they were the best. Abertam. Can't go to market without getting Abertam. That's gosh darn cheese right there. Well, that is a traditional Czech farmhouse hard cheese made from a yeah, sheep's milk. So where did your mom go to get this <laughs> cheese? Czech, dude, Czech, Czech is like the West Virginia of Europe. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no. I like where you know, I'm from West Virginia. Those sheep, hey. The milk's better. I'm from West Virginia. That's that's where my family. It's West by God, Virginia, with my hand over my heart. <laughs> but I get to make fun of them because I'm from there. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, leaning into round four, then. Three. Uh, um, round into three. round three. End yeah. of round three. Yeah. Well, leaning into that's round four, then. Yeah, right? I'm leaning in. Right. Well, uh, sure. Peter's uh, got to go. We're gonna do yeah. one more, right? One more round, and that'll be it. Uh, we can well, do Peter's one more round. Gotta finish I gotta get my question though. Oh, Jesus. this is yours, Peter. I'm sorry. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. I just assumed sorry, we you were going to get this wrong. Your... I had you marked down for a wrong. Okay. Uh... Oh, you mother... <laughs> nice. Anar. Anar. Your anar. Speech cheese is anar. See, that sounds like a species. It really does. But it could also be a cheese. Like paneer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say species. I'm going to go with species. All right. Anar. 
Inhabiting the northern wastelands of Andoria, the Anar are similar in appearance to the Andorians. Hey. There you go. So very good for you. All right, what do we have? What's our score at the end of uh, round three then? Two, two, and two. We need a tiebreaker. <laughs> all righty then. Oh boy. That's all right. We got tiebreaker questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got it. All right, yeah. here we go. Here we go. No, we play to the death. Or are we doing? Uh, what, <laughs> what is this going to be? Oh fastest, fastest finger or uh, what? No. no, no, we don't have any ability to do that. Come on now. I know, I know. Okay, no. here we go. Uh, Pressure's on. Evan. Evan, mm. Evan, Evan. This particular quandary of cheese or species is chichil. Chichil. Uh, boy, you might be trying to trick me here with the ch ch and the whole cheese and you know, it all kind of <laughs> runs together and conflates in my brain. <sighs> ch -ch huh? I'm glad he gave me credit for being devious. Gosh, this pressure is intense. Now I know what it's like to play the final table at the World Series of Poker. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe in. Uh, I... Hmm. All right, I think, I think it's going to be a cheese. So Chichil is a brined string cheese that originated oh, in it Armenia. <laughs> it has a consistency yes, of that of mozzarella. So very good. I'm impressed. I was. I thought that. I'm impressed gonna, too. Actually, stump somebody. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right. Jack. No pressure, Jack. No pressure. Hit me. Let's do. What is it? Beamster. Beamster. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Could you say this without laughing? <laughs> no. The Beamster. The Beaminator. <laughs> Beamerama. Beamerama ding do. <laughs> what? Are you asking me if there's a type of alien called a beam? Would it say it again? A beamer? A beamster. <laughs> A beamster. Beamster. Beam beamster. Beam like a seamster, but a beamster. That's that's so like un sci fi to me. That just does that sounds like some kind of like term in math or something. So I, I I'm just gonna uh, it's a cheese. The beamsters No, I'm just kidding. It's a uh -oh. cheese. It's a cheese. <laughs> right. It's a hard it's, Dutch cow transporters milk. union. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think I've actually yes. had that cheese. Have you? I think so. Well, does it stand alone? Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Gets up and walks away. Too. All right, uh, Peter, your yeah, your quandary is Horta. Horta. Uh, you know that that is from the original series. So that is that is uh, that is an alien species. That's that rock thing that burrowed through the through the rock thing. Well, actually, it looked like a carpet. Based. Didn't it look like yeah. a carpet? Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Silicon. It's it's yes. It's uh, yes. You're right. Yeah. Someone had to get it. So we're all tied again, Mike. Yes, you're all tied. That's it. Uh, those were all my tie rounds. I was. Uh, oh, that's, so we that's all win. Yes. No, that's okay. It's all right. We have a provision Woo! for this. We we have a provision for just in case this sort of thing happens. A uh, decided die. No, the ties always go to the guest. Hey, I like that yep. rule. That's yes, right. So the ties always go to the guest. Evan Bernstein, you are our winner. Congratulations. Oh, Woo! oh. yay! Thank you so proud. You certainly know your cheeses and your species. Dude, that's the first time that we've had this game where, where it was a tie like that. Yeah, yeah. It's never, yeah. never been an issue. Wow. Well, that's that's a testament to the quality of the participants. Yeah, fa fantastic yeah, job. Absolutely. Yes, very good, very good. That was top-notch, top-notch, everyone. Or as okay, Steve says, good work, boys. Prizes. Yes. <laughs> yes, good work, boys. All right, hey, let's give out those links again, and then we'll roll out of here, Mike. All right, we will do that. Uh, you can learn. 
Yeah. Learn more about Evan and what the Skeptics Guide uh, to the Galaxy uh, Rogues are up to by checking out uh, www.theskepticsguide.org. Uh, you can check out the Facebook page at The Skeptics Guide. And uh, Evan is always tweeting uh, at uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Evan's GU. So, uh, and if you need to get me, get a message to him, just let me know. I can get, I can get a message to him. <laughs> if you yeah, can't get Michael, him on Twitter. Uh, Michael's taken over as my uh, social media director. Yes. Effectively, uh, what, three seconds ago. Yes. So yeah. uh, in uh, 30 seconds or less, tell us, tell anyone who might be watching this game, God knows why, about maybe why they <laughs> should maybe check out the uh, Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. Because we talk about things that can and cannot be proven. We separate reality from fantasy. We help you go through the morass of everyday life to figure out who's trying to trick you and who's really on your side. And we do it all using evidence, logic, and, of course, a bunch of fun and witticisms. So tune in. Awesome. Very cool. good. I highly recommend it. Uh, we said earlier in the show that uh, we all did that our little fanboy, a little geeshing a little bit, but uh, we all owe a lot of who we are today uh, for the early days, for not the early days of the SGU. Uh, and uh, with that, I will run the closer. You have just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits podcast and game time with the Mythwits even. You can join us on Twitch Mondays at 9.30 Eastern Time. Jump into the chat room and ask us or our guest questions. If you miss the live show, you can always catch the Encore episodes at YouTube and Mythwit, YouTube slash Mythwits. Find us at themythwits.com. Find us at mythwits.com and on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Podbean as the Mythwits. We own the word, baby. Uh, do the like, follow, and subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. Give, uh, please give us a bunch of stars and reviews on iTunes. We're going to be starting uh, a little uh, loot crate giveaway. So uh, start start forming your awesome uh, reviews now. Screenshot it, post it in our Facebook page, and uh, Pete will personally send you something skeptical, like his underwear. Uh, Mythwits <laughs> is part of the TSR Podcast Network, and if you like us, you're bound to like other great shows there as well. Check out... Check that out at uh, the TSRPN.com. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Uh, and make sure to check out uh, other Studio 187 and more cool stuff and join our mailing list. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. And tell your friends to tune in. And until next time, Pete! Brad Pitt and Gouda. <laughs> <laughs>